Hello, back again to share the setup of my pocket size notebook. So this is a Chic Sparrow Pocket Deluxe Outlander in Jitney Red. <laughs> so on the outside, I just have a little charm hanging from it. And then I did have this one inscribed as well. And that is Gallic for my love. And my other one was my heart. I also got the Outlander, this is also a Chic Sparrow, Outlander Narrow Classic in Jitney Red. And then that inscription says Sassanac. And it has a charm on the outside as well. So let's, get, let's start with the pocket size one. This one I use as my wallet and my financial um, notebook. So everything in here has to do with money or shopping, <laughs> basically. So it has the two pockets here. In this one, I keep my two most used credit cards, my driver's license. Um, I did order two of the Foxy Fix dashboards for this. And of course, I had to outlander it up and put some pictures in there. And there's the inside of the dashboard. This clip goes on this book. Um, this first booklet is my daily to-do list. Now with my personal size that I've shared, I have my monthly calendar and then I also have my weekly insert. And in my setup video for this one, I had shared I was using a different format for the weekly. It was a week on one page, and then on this side was a grid note or grid paper. So I found though that I didn't have enough room to write things down because some weeks we have a lot to do. So I just found I was running out of room when it was on one page. So I switched it up to this two page one, which is working out a lot better. And so I added this daily one in case I have more to do on a certain day and I don't have any room in that one. So it just makes it easier. I also put um, things that I need to buy so that when I'm out I can check and see if I need to buy anything or um, any appointments, things like that. So that's what that booklet is. And I just have this bookmark here to Hold my place. I don't use it every day. Uh, like I said, just whenever we have more stuff to do. There's the back of that first dashboard. <clears throat> then I have a Midori pouch insert, which this is the passport size. So it's not um, as long as the pocket size, but it still works good. I mean, it fits width wise, so it works out. So I just have some washi tape in there. This is the second Foxy Fix dashboard, and I just found some um, things online to print off and use as my decorations. And this next booklet is my online order tracker. So this was a printable I got off of Etsy. Her name is Marcia Bramucci, I think is how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. Um, I'll put the link to her shop down below. Um, but this is perfect for recording what you buy. It has three little boxes here that you can check ordered, shipped, and received. Then you can write the date that you ordered and then the date you received. So I like to keep track because I order from so many different places. So I like to put down all that information. And then it also is a great guide to see how long it takes things to get here. So... That's that booklet, and then there's the back of the second dashboard. This is the back of the Midori pouch, and I just keep some cash in there. This insert is my wallet insert, and I made this myself, just using paper and laminating. It also has my little pocket Jamie here. <laughs> I found him online. You could print him off, and then I laminated it. And he just sits in this little pocket. This is a Target pocket, and that holds important receipts. 
so here is the inside of the wallet insert and it holds my other cards. Also my expense booklet. This is Annie Plan, Annie Plans printables? Or is it Annie Plan printables? One of those. And for this, I'm just keeping track of my what I call my frivolous expenses, just stuff that I buy because I want to try and not spend too much, especially now that it's getting towards Christmas time and we need to buy for everyone else. So I'm trying to cut back on my spending. So I feel that when I write it down, I'm less inclined to buy a lot of stuff because I don't want to fill it all up. <laughs> I'm also keeping track of our grocery bills every week and trying to cut back on that as well or seeing where I can cut back on that. So that's that little booklet. And then the back of my wallet insert is just all our insurance cards. And then finally this back here is another folder that I had made and it just holds some little dots and then a magnetic bookmark. And then this booklet here is my references for when I'm out. So like I have my makeup because I always forget what color I get. So I write it down so that when I go to the store I know. And then the different brands and stuff like that. Also have Carson's information when I have to buy him clothes. Um, and then the rest of it is I had printed off some sheets for everybody to fill out in my family with their favorites so that it should make Christmas shopping a little easier. So I did like favorite restaurants, favorite um, stores, hobbies, things that you collect, um, favorite snacks and candies for like stocking, stuff like that. So then I can just go through here and see what a particular, a particular person likes and it up for him. And then finally the back of the folder insert and then back here's another secretarial pocket which I don't have anything in there right now and then another pen. So that is my pocket setup. Now for my classic I don't really have this one set up the way I want just yet. So I mean there's not really too much to show. It's basically just holding some booklets right now. I put another charm on this one um, and then I just have some things in here but like I said it's not set up the way I want it just yet this is a it doesn't the cl classic the bigger size notebooks that Sheik Sparrow makes doesn't come in the deluxe sizes as of now and so I added one of these target pockets in here because I do like pockets on the back here I put a Midori brand um, pocket just to hold things so it's got like a folder in here and then there's a notebook this was one of the bigger ones that I had bought at um, it was either TJ Maxx or Marshall's and I cut it down to fit in here um, there's my Outlander booklet one of these Midori pouches in here um, I do have an my art journal, I just started this new one, so there's nothing in it yet. Just the first page. Um, this booklet was one of those Amy Tangerine, uh, I forget what they call, day book or something like that. I cut it down, took the cover off, and put a new cover on. Uh, because when I cut the old cover, it kind of butchered it and didn't look right. So... Put that on and then this one this booklet is just to hold like special events that we do like we did a di dinner on the diamond night my husband and I and I have some couple more things to add into here but this is like a special event type booklet I also have my address book in here there's the back of the pouch and it just has some miscellaneous things in there this was another junk journal type book I made and it was just made with papers that I had. So I just put it, there's one of those paper bags. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this one for yet, but I just made it and we'll stick it in here. And then I just have a notepad in back, another pen here. So that's it for that one. That one's not too exciting because it's 
it's not really set up right. But anyway, just wanted to share those two with you. Did I mention I had sold my two creme brulees to buy these too? So I no longer have my creme brulees that I shared not too long ago. But I wanted to get the Outlander because that's my favorite leather now. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you real quick. And I hope you all are having a great day. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.